Well, hello, y'all. Welcome back to yet another fun, fast, and informative video. Today, we're gonna to be breaking in a 25 horsepower Mercury outboard. I've never had this turned on. There's still no oil in it. Make sure you put oil in it before you take it out for its maiden voyage. Today, we're just gonna be making a quick video on the break-in procedure. Now, bear in mind, this is for 25 horsepower and 30 horsepower Merc engines. Um, I would definitely double check your owner's manual, make sure this is correct. Don't take my word for it. But for this, there's pretty much just two stages. The first out Hour, which you want to make, make sure you pay attention to the RPMs and then the second hour break-in period which changes the RPMs up a little bit so without further ado let's get to the lake all right at the lake here we go all right we got the outboard running you want to let it warm up for one to two minutes and then we're gonna head out and do the first hour break-in all right so for the first hour we're gonna be going from idle varying speeds up to half throttle exceeding no more than 3,500 RPMs, but mine doesn't have a tachometer or an RPM you know, meter, so you're just gonna have to go off the gauge. This is neutral. On the side here, there's another little notch. So right in the middle would be half throttle. I would maybe take a little pen and mark it there so you know where half throttle is, but that should be about 3,500 RPMs. We're just gonna vary it up and down slowly, maybe every minute, two minutes, just wanna vary the throttle. All right, idling. Increase power a little bit. Increase a little bit more. Increase a little bit more. Back off the throttle, now we're planing. The thing I'm scared about is the second hour, we're gonna have to full throttle it for one minute every 10 minutes. And this thing is pretty touchy when it comes to steering. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. All right, the time has come. Coming up on the second hour. Now in the second hour, we're gonna be varying the throttle as we did before, but we're gonna be taking it up to three quarter throttle varying it from idle to three quarter and then every 10 minutes the manual said to go full throttle for a minute which my buddy and i are <laughs> not too excited about because we're happy at half throttle man this thing moves so we got a little straight away with the least amount of waves so we're gonna see what happens Whee! all right so first speed run wasn't actually too bad. I thought it was gonna be about twice the speed of half throttle, which you would think, but it actually wasn't terrible. Even my dog wasn't that freaked out. So we have to do a full throttle run for one minute every 10 minutes, so we got five more to go. We're gonna to try to get one on video, but so far so good. All right, full throttle run number two. I'm gonna hold on to my doggy. No legs. just past the two hour mark did six speed runs one minute each wasn't that bad not as bad as I thought it was gonna be like I said there wasn't much of a speed difference between uh, half throttle and or three-quarter throttle and full throttle anyways hope you found this video helpful again check your owner's manual because your break-in procedure might be different depending on what what mercury you have, but for the 25, 30 horse, that's all there is to it. For the next eight hours, it says, you're not supposed to full throttle it longer than five minutes at a time, which I'm not gonna be doing. So, see you in the next video.